Hey guys, it's your Yo Kiba right here in Kiba's place and today we're going to make something funky. Mm. So what do you think about some popcorn fish? Yeah, I know you're always thinking popcorn shrimp, popcorn chicken. Why not popcorn fish? So yeah, today I'm working on some popcorn fish. Yeah, there's a few things I want you to see. I have some shark. Uh, I seasoned it with my blend of great green seasoning. Um, if you missed that video in 2020, Go back, you can see it. I'll link it down in the bottom so that you can see how I make my green seasoning. We put green seasoning in everything. So that's been seasoned up. You're gonna need a little buttermilk, some eggs, and you know fish got that funk. You're gonna need some lime, um, flour, salt, pepper, baking powder, a little bit of garlic, and that's how we do it. So let me get prepped up and let's get started. <music> Let's start by seasoning up some um, some of the batter. You're gonna need an egg, some buttermilk, and I bought this. But um, guys, if you don't have the buttermilk, you just put a tablespoon of um, a tablespoon of milk together. This is low fat. A tablespoon of lime in some regular milk and um let the science begin yeah so the lime is going to curdle the milk really really nice for you and you're going to be good to go just let it sit for a couple of minutes and it's going to get and you're going to have buttermilk so lime in regular milk and that's going to be it um so i like to season everything so yeah i forgot to open this Salt and pepper, go ahead, you're gonna need two sets of, it's a tree compartment, you're gonna need, I like to season everything, so that at the end of the day, the fish has a nice taste. So this is garlic powder. You want a tablespoon, a teaspoon, sorry, of garlic powder in everything. Um, salt goes in everything as well. And I'm laying it right now, but this is a teaspoon of salt. Yes. A little bit of lemon, because you know, a shark has a very popular taste. So if you want to make popcorn, popcorn uh, fish, there's two fish that doesn't have bone. Because when I think of... Um, of popcorn I'm thinking of eating it whole and not having to fish out bones that's a no-go without bones guys and if you want to thicken this up all you gotta do is take a little bit of uh, regular flour and you put it in there I know we, we do that a lot on work we do regular flour in the batter and taking out the batter so it's eggs flour and milk and there goes your thickened butter oops this is a key ingredient guys forgot baking powder um, you want to put a tablespoon in um, in the ending flour and a tablespoon in the batter and that's how you get your that's how you get that popcorn effect all right you want to put the yeah, stove on and my stove has been on for a while on medium heat you don't want to overcook this um, guys if you don't like um, a lot of salt you can go ahead and try some adobo for seasoning there's everything is in that adobo but yeah remember the whisk away so yeah the science is gonna happen with the baking powder in the batter So one to start so you got your fish here well seasoned my fish as I said has been well seasoned with um, with my green seasoning go ahead and get that um, so I have some shark I really like shark love shark if he's a Trini and you don't like shark I don't know what wrong with you maybe you've not been maybe you have not been 
on Maracas Bay. But most truly love shark. Most, I should say. Only one that in there. You can see that already beginning to transform in the batter. It's going to be a little technical. Alright, so it's beginning to, um, to puff up in here. And then you want to take it and move it to dry flour. Alright, and my hand is not bad. Yeah, I don't have enough hands. And then it goes straight into the pot. But yeah, this is what you want. If you want to skip a step, you can skip a step and um, you can take out the first flower. But you definitely need. And then you fry. All right. So fish cooks pretty fast, but you want a nice golden color on there. Yummy. Hey, so what does this look like to you? Mm -hmm. Looks like it's ready to go. And I'm gonna check in this need to cook along. I mean, sorry, fish. But I keep saying chicken, all right, because everybody makes popcorn chicken or popcorn shrimp. But yeah, this needs to fry long. But you wanna get a nice crust on it. And you also wanna, um, you also wanna cook, cut it about the same size you get bigger sizes it'll take a little long if you overcrowd your pot it'll take a little long because then the um the oil will drop temperature there's a few keen tricks to it um but yeah you also want a nice crust on it that is hot mm. that's quite nice mm. guys you seen that hair first? Popcorn fish, it can be done. Yep. Shark, cod, anything without a bunch of bones. That's it. Guys, all that good crunch. On the outside. Smoking. Yep. So guys, thank you for joining me. See you next time. Remember to share. Remember to like. And subscribe if you want to get in with the next video. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So, you've seen what's happening under the hood. I'll see you next time right here in Cuba's Place.